All right, so welcome everyone. It is Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Perhaps we'll have backyard margaritas and snacks later, I don't know. Um, so today you'll need a variety of dumbbells if you have them or heavy weights, whatever you've got. If you don't, that's okay. You can find lighter things too, like soup cans. Um, and we'll get started. So our warm up today, we are going to do five exercises. And we're going to do them each twice back to back, and then we won't do them again. And then we'll do a little bit more mobility in the shoulders and stuff, and then we'll get started. So I'll show you the exercises now, and then we'll get started. So you are going to need just one lighter dumbbell if you have for uh, the warm up, and if you don't have it, that is okay. All right, a couple more people showing up. So, the exercises are for the warm up squat to crunch. So, you're welcome to add a jump if you like, and you really want to wake up that rib cage. Then, if you have a lighter dumbbell, you can pick it up. If you don't, that's okay. We're going to do our lunge and chop. So, a nice rotation through the torso again. What else we got? A hacky sack squat. So, we did this on Friday. It looks like this. But this time, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. So Tanji, make sure you're sitting back into those hips. Take care of those knees. And then the next two exercises will be on the floor. So coming into a plank, tap, tap, foot, foot. Shoulder, shoulder, foot, foot. And then flipping over onto your bum for a Russian twist. So you'll spend two intervals at each exercise. And we're gonna start with that squat to crunch. So be there for about 30 seconds with a little breather in between. Are we ready? In three, two, beep, beep. Here we go, so squat and bring that knee up, crunch. If you wanna add a jump, you're welcome to do that. You can make this warm up as intense as you like. So get that body moving. Feel into your body. How does it feel from yesterday? How does it feel from your weekend? Are there areas that need more attention? Three, two, one. Rest, we're gonna do that again. So you're welcome to stay low impact or you can add that jump if you like. Three, two, one, there we go. Sit down nice and low. Stand up tall into that leg you're standing on. Squeeze your glute. Awesome. Waking up the body, opening up the rib cage and the hips. Four, three, two, one. All right, the next exercise, you can grab that leg dumbbell or not if you're tall. Lunge with rotational chop. Three, two, big reach. Lunge back. Bring those hands to the leg that's stepping back. So you can do this with or without a weight. Sitting low into that front leg. Notice how those legs feel. How are the shoulders doing? Relax the neck. Four, three, two, rest. We'll do that again. And be very quiet. Four, three, two, same thing. Here we go. Sitting low into the legs. Check in with that front leg. Little twist through the torso. Big reach at the top. Nice. Four, three, two. Awesome. All right, happy sack squat is next. So you can add a jump if you like or stay low. Here we go. So if you like, you can add a bit of a jump. 
You're staying low in the hips, so the weight is shifted back into the hips. If you want to pick it up, you're welcome to do that. Waking up those legs. Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Nice work, everyone. Feeling the blood move through the body, waking up. Three, two, here we go. So the warm up is a good way to decide how you're feeling today, how hard you want to work. Maybe you're entering into it like, oh my God, I'm so sore. Or maybe you've got a lot of energy. So let that determine where you're at. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right, coming down to the floor, plank tap. So in your plank, shoulder, shoulder, foot, foot. Three, two, here we go. So I walk here every morning, and for me, that's that opportunity to set my day. Good work, everyone. Try and keep your bum squeezed when you're tapping the shoulders. Woo. Bring that foot up to your hand. Two, one, rest. We're gonna do that one more time and then flip over to the Russian twist. Coming into the plank, three, two, here we go. Shoulder, shoulder, foot, foot. Waking up the hands and the wrists. Abs are engaged. You got it. Four, three, two. All right. Russian twist. You can do it with or without a weight. It's your call. You can be in the air or on the floor. Three, two. Here we go. So twisting from side to side. Initiating that movement from the torso. Pull your belly button in. Chest is lifted. Eyes look up. Whew. My abs are tired. What did we do yesterday? Oh, those pieces. Three, two, one. If you missed yesterday, I highly recommend you go and check it out. It's called Cardiovascular Something on YouTube. It's a good one. Two, one. Here we go. Last round. Good work, everyone. Chest is lifted. Four, three, two, one. All right. So stay down. We're just going to do a little bit more mobility stuff for the shoulders and the upper body. So we're going to come into that plank again on the elbows. And we're going to move into the plank saw. So we did this a few days ago. So I like to hold my hands like so. Get myself set up. Come into a plank. And then pivot back and forth on the toes. So come on down, join me. We'll just do this a few times, oscillating through the shoulders, staying in that plank position. Pausing, and then you're gonna lift your bum up in the air. So pull your belly button up and in, and then hinge back into that plank position. So just notice how this feels in the shoulders, in the lats, so moving through, plank, then push your forearms into the floor, lift your bum. One more time. Excellent. Relax. Come on up to standing. We'll just swing the arms back and forth. So opening up the upper back. 
opening up the shoulders, so forward and back across the body, keep the legs moving, keep the body warm, and then open up the arms front and back like this. So just waking up the shoulders in different ranges of motion. We're gonna move some big circles. Forward and back, one more time. Awesome. And that's it, we're ready. All right, friends. Today for strength, we're gonna go back to a good old fashioned EMOM. We haven't done one of these in a while. Every minute on the minute, with a little baby break in between. We got some old familiar exercises coming at you. I'll show you them now and then we'll get started. So the first exercise is our friend the row and fly. So you're hanging forward, back is flat. You're gonna pull the elbows straight back and then open them up. Row, fly. If your weights are too heavy to do a fly, you can do a row and then a pen lay row. So elbows go straight back and then elbows go wide. So you can decide. Then the next exercise is a tricep rocket push-up. So we did these last week. You're gonna come into a tricep, which I have my hands on dumbbells just for my wrists. Elbows are tight to the body. You come down in the tricep push-up and then you hinge back and then you explode forward, tricep push-up, hinge back. So you can do the push-up part from the knee if you absolutely have to, and then hang back. But try it, it's fun. We're gonna do 10 to 12 of the back exercise, 10 to 12 of those, then come up. 10 to 12 Arnold's. Then we're going to do 16 lunges with the front and side raise, so 16 total. Front, side, and then we've got two more exercises. So if you have a chair or a bench, you can put your back on it. Arms are straight. You're gonna slowly lower, straighten the arms back behind you, feeling the stretch under the armpits, staying in a bridge position. Or if you don't have a bench or a chair, you'll hold your weight like this. Lay on your back. Bridge position, slowly lower the weight behind you, and then pull it up. And then the last exercise, you're gonna hold one dumbbell up, pull your belly button in, raise both legs, hold them up, slowly lower one, bring it up, slowly lower the other, bring it up, then lower both, bring them up. So it's one, Two legs, one leg, one leg, two legs. And we're gonna do that for 40 seconds. So let's get into it. Grab your dumbbells. I'll remind you of what's happening throughout. So you don't have to remember all of that. So you're gonna have one minute at each exercise to get your reps in. The first exercise is the double row or row to fly. You're gonna do 10 to 12 reps, slow and controlled, and then rest and wait for the knee. Are we ready? We're doing four rounds of everything in three, two, beep, beep. So 10 to 12, quality reps. So roll those elbows back, pulling up with the muscles of the upper back. Elbows go straight back and then fly out. Like I said, if your dumbbells are too heavy to fly, you can roll into a pen lay row. So that's where the elbows are wide. So you're doing 10 to 12 reps on your own count. Your back is flat, your abs are engaged. And if you only have really light weights, you can do more reps. 15 seconds. All right, finish up your reps. Getting ready to transition into those push-ups. So we only have a little break in between, not much time. So coming down to the ground, getting ready for those tricep push-ups. Two, one, here we go, 10 to 12. Rocket, tricep push-ups. 
Dungeons.
Pull the belly button in. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We got a little breather built right in. So grab a quick drink and we're going to start from the top. So you know what the exercises are now. You know how they feel. You can decide what kind of dumbbells you want to use and how you want to push yourself. So we're going to start again with that row and fly or double row. So get your dumbbells ready. We're on in five. Two, one. Here we go. Back to flat. Double row. Or row to fly. The important thing here, friends, is that your abs are engaged. That's what's holding your torso upright, is your abs. 10 to 12 quality reps, slow and controlled. Pause at the top of the row, contract the muscles in between the shoulder blades, and then slowly lower. Ten to twelve reps. You've got fifteen seconds. If you're all done, you can transition down to the floor for those tricep push-ups. All right. Getting ready for the tricep push-ups. Your hands are right under your shoulders. Elbows are tight to your body. Here we go. Ten to twelve reps. Push up. Sit back. Slow forward. So you're shifting the weight back onto the toes, almost like a child's pose. Elbows are tight to the body on the push up. Good work, 10 to 12 reps. 20 seconds. Woo. Those are tough. Arnold's are next. If you wanna get your appropriate dumbbells ready. Three, two, rest, a little transition. Coming back up to standing if you're not already there. Get those weights up. Push up. Bring down. Palms to the face. Open it back up. 10 to 12 quality reps. Slow and controlled. Keep the neck relaxed. Check your abs. Pull that belly button up and in. Brace. Good work. 20 seconds. Woo. Woo. Nice work, everyone. Awesome. Take a little breather. You're done. Getting ready for our lunge with our shoulder raises. I have to break up my, my little buddies, my five pounders. All right, here we go, 16 lunges total, front and side. Slow and controlled. So what you wanna focus on is the fact that the shoulders are a push muscle group. So imagine if someone's pushing down against your hands. You want to push up against them. It's not your neck. It's not momentum. It's slow, controlled pressure. Push. Remember, if you only have one really heavy weight, you can hold it between your two hands and just raise to the front. 15 seconds. Woo. Good work.
work. When you're all done those, transitioning into the lat pullover. So either on your chair or on the floor, coming to a bridge, getting ready, getting set up. Here we go. Arms are straight, bum is lifted. If you're on the floor, it's exactly the same exercise. You'll just be holding your weight sideways so it doesn't clunk into the floor. So arms are straight, lowering down with the muscles under your armpits, slowly pulling back up. So it's that slow lowering where you're going to see the strength gains. 10 to 12 reps. Twenty seconds. You got it. Keep that bridge engaged. Don't forget about your glutes. Ten seconds. Good. Finishing it up. Transitioning down onto the floor. If you're not already there. You're gonna push one dumbbell up between your two hands. Hold it there. Bring both legs up. Here we go. Lower one leg, bring it up. Other leg, bring it up. Both legs, go for it. Keep those arms straight up, holding that dumbbell, isometric contraction. Pull the belly button in, push the back into the mat because you lower those legs. If that hurts your back, you can do the exact same movement but bend your knees. Good, good, good. Five, four, three, two. All right, come on up. Grab a drink. And we'll get ready for round three. How's everyone doing? We good? We're alive? Hopefully some sweat is occurring. All right, let's do it, moving on. Round three, double row or row to fly. Get your dumbbells ready. Woo. All right, we're on in five. Here we go, Make forward, back is flat, elbows go back. 10 to 12, quality reps. You can tuck your chin. Keep your head and neck neutral. Good work, check your abs. Slow it down. You got it, everyone. Slow, focused form. 20 seconds. Beautiful. If you're all done, you can transition down to the ground for your tricep push-ups. If not, finish up your reps. Here we go. Coming down to the ground, push-ups. In three, two, here we go. Elbows tight to the body. 10 to 12 reps. Good work. Here we go. 
Push up, bring them down, turn the palms to the face. Relax your neck. Breathe, but keep your core braced. So imagine someone's gonna come poke your tummy. You wanna hold on to that breath. Nice, 10 to 12 reps, keep that neck relaxed. You got it. Woo. 20 seconds. Good work team, good work. Finish up those reps. You're all done, transitioning in. Little guys, for our front and side raises. All right, lunge and raise in three, two, here we go. Lift to the front, lift to the side. 16 total. Keep that neck relaxed. Remember to push those weights up and out. Create that tension, even if you only have really, really light weights, these can still be really heavy. Really challenging exercises. Good work, good work. Check your lunges and your posture. Awesome work. 15 seconds. Getting ready to transition into that lap pullover with a bridge. So back on your bench or chair or on the floor. I'll demonstrate on the floor this time. Three, two, squeeze above and lift. Lower those arms. Keep those shoulders back and down if you can. Arms are straight. Feeling the stretch under the armpits. Your legs might be tired of chewing that bridge. You did a lot of work on the glutes over the last few days. Awesome. 20 seconds. Get your 10 to 12 quality reps in. Awesome. And then transition your weight down to the floor if you're not already there. For a fold and leg lift. All right, get that weight up. Nice heavy weight between your two hands. Legs come up. One leg at a time. And then both legs. Keep that back engaged with the floor. Remember, if this hurts your back, you can bend your knees. Those arms are straight. Isometric contraction to the chest and the shoulders. Triceps as well. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, come on up. Grab a drink. We got one more round. All right. And then we got our conditioning. It's about 15 minutes. So let's get ready for round four. Double row. In four, three, two, here we go. Last time through with the exercises. So focus in on your form, especially using the abs. Protect your back. Relax the neck. Ten to twelve quality reps. Remember.
Remember these can be super challenging even if you only have really light weights. You just gotta really slow everything down. Focus on your form, create that tension. 20 seconds. Alrighty, when you're all done your reps, make your way down to the floor. Tricep push up. Three, two, transitioning into the push up. In three, two, here we go. Tricep push up, sit the bum back, rock it forward. 10 to 12. Good work. You got it. Whew. Good work, everyone. Elbows tight to your side. Abs are engaged. Nice. When you're all done, Come on up for Arnold's. Picking up your dumbbells. Last set of these, friends. All right, in four, three, two, here we go. 10 to 12 reps. Last time through. Relax your neck as much as you can. Use the shoulders. Abs are there for stability. Woo. 10 to 12 reps, you can do it. Woo. 20 seconds. Nice work, everyone. Strong shoulders. All right. Five, four, three, two. Next, we got our lunge and raise. Almost there. Here we go, 16 total. Push those arms up. Front and side, keep the neck relaxed. Sitting into that front hip. Abs are on. You got it, team. Sixteen total. Awesome work, everyone. 20 seconds. All right, thinking about that lat pull down. Lat pull over. We got five seconds. Finish up your lunges. Transitioning into the lat pull over and bridge. Three, two, here we go. 10 to 12 reps. Keep that bridge engaged, glutes are lifted, arms are straight. Slowly lower, feel the stretch under the armpits. Squeeze the bottom, keep it lifted. Twenty seconds. Get those reps in. Whew. Wow. Those will get you. All right. Finish up your reps. Make your way to the floor if you're not already there. We got one more exercise in strength, and then our conditioning. Comes.
coming up. All right, with that heavy dumbbell up between your two hands, push it straight up, lift both legs, lower one, bring it up, other, and then both. Remember, if this hurts your back, bend your knees. Pull your back into the mat, pull the belly button in. So you'll do 21 of everything, then 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. I'll show you the exercises now, and then we'll get started. So the first exercise is a thruster. So all the way down, elbows to knees. So you're going to do 21 of those. Then we're going to move into our shuffle jump lunge. So shuffle, shuffle, jump. Shuffle, shuffle, jump. 21 of those total. If you cannot jump, you can hold a weight and do 21 lunges. Then we'll do 21 goblet squats, so knees are wide, getting your elbows down, holding onto your heavy weight. 21 of those. And then you're going to come into the plank, cross, the knee to cross, 21 per side. Okay? Once you've done 21 of everything, you move down to 18, 15, 12, 9, 6, 3. All right? So find some appropriate dumbbells for your thrusters. Stick around. It's going to be a good one. So 15-minute cap. I'll set my timer for that. We're going to start with 21 thrusters. So get those weights ready. In three... Two, one, baby. here we go. So we have 15 minutes to get it all done. So elbows to knees in those thrusters. You're counting your own reps today, friends. Find a good rhythm. Got it. Once you're done, 21 thrusters, 21 shuffle, jump, shuffle, or 21 lunges. Good. You can rest whenever you need. It's your conditioning, it's your time. Twenty-one lunges total. You got it. Woo. Twenty-one goblet squats. So pick up a heavy weight. Sit down into the hips, stand up tall. You got it. Nice and quick, nice and low. Once 
When you're all done, 21 squats. You move into 21 plank cross knees each side. That's a lot. We got strong abs though, we can do it. Woo. Woo. So this is not a mountain climber. It's slower, more focused. Your bum stays flat. You crunch that knee across. Twenty-one per side. Woo! All right, everyone. When you're done, twenty-one of everything. Moving on to eighteen. Remember, you can break at any time. About three and a half minutes per round. All right, 20 years, or 18 of everything. 18 thrusters. Relax the neck, elbows to knees. Got it. Eighteen shuffle jump lunges, regular lunges. Nice. Strong legs. Once you're done your 18 lunges, 18 goblet squats. Good work team. Good work, good work. Ooh. Heart rate up, breathing fast. Once you're done 18 of those, 18 cross body crunches in a plank, and then you move on to 15. that bow down in those planks. Woo! Nice work, everybody. Break as you need. We've got nine minutes to go. Once you've done 18, moving on to 15. 15 thrusters, shuffle lunges, goblet squats, cross body planks. Go. You can do it. Abs are engaged. Neck is relaxed. Crazy what a difference those three reps make on the mind and on the body. Go, go, go. Once you've done 18 of everything, 15 of everything. Woo! 
Good work, team. Sit nice and low in those goblet squats. Into the hips. Push up through the heels. You got it. Even though you're moving quickly and you're tired and happy, happy, pay attention to your core. Once you've done 15 of everything, move on to 12. Yes. Nine. Seems so easy. Once you're done 12 of everything, moving on to nine, then six, then three. We're almost there. Just under four minutes to get it done. Get it done, everyone. Keep moving. Yes. You are strong and fit. You got this. Moving on to six, and then three. I'm gonna mute, unmute. I think people are approaching the end. Keep it up.
Christy, how you doing? Good. That was awesome. Sorry. Good work, team. Thank you, Kim. That was great. Finish it up, everyone. You got less than a minute. Thank you. Good work, everyone. You were awesome. Thanks, Kim. That's great. Have a good day. Finish it up, Andrea. You can do it. Come on, Tim. Come on, Angel. Woo. Get it done, get it done. Right on, Angel. Right on, Angel. You got it. Woo! Thanks, Kim. Thank you, Angel. Have an awesome day. Good work, Andrea. Yeah. Ten seconds to spare. Good for you. All right. Have a good day, everyone.